Hi everyone, my name is Jenna Phillips and I am arguing that the giant leaf insect of Phylum giganteum has better defense mechanisms than the brown stink bug of Haliomorpha halis. Hi y'all, uh, my name is Will Strong and I'm defending the Haliomorpha halis whose common name is the brown stink bug and our debate topic is which insect has the better defense mechanisms. The giant leaf insect is a large species of leaf insects with the scientific name Phylum giganteum. Leaf insects are insects in the order of stick insects, Phasmotidia, that look like a leaf. Phylum giganteum is one of the largest species of leaf insects that can grow up to four inches. In nature, it can most commonly be found in southeastern Asia, specifically the tropical forests in Malaysia. They tend to like humidity, but also need a lot of ventilation. This species consists of only females in captivity, there are no males. Their body is shaped and looks like a very wide leaf. The legs have appendages making them look like leaves as well. The skin is green in color with brown spots along the edges. When you pick up a Phylum giganteum, it will generally just stay still in hopes of it appearing as just a leaf. They eat leaves of bramble, oak, and rose species. During the day, the giant leaf insect will sit very still, but at night it will move and eat. If something goes wrong during their nightly hunt and they end up losing a limb, it is not a big deal because they have the ability to regrow limbs during their multi-stages. Being nocturnal herbivores, giant leaf insects fully take advantage of this amazing crypsis camouflage by staying absolutely still throughout the day resting for their nightly hunts. This, along with giant leaf insects defense mechanisms, which I have already stated, makes for a safer bug than any bad odors from the brown stink bug. The brown stink bug is a fairly common species of insects within the Hemoptera order. Brown stink bugs are somewhat variable in size and coloration. They range from 12 to 17 millimeters in length and are obviously brown, we can have spots of many different colors, the most common being black and bright red. They have unique piercing sucking type mouth parts. Their stylets are long and thin and are used to pierce trees, plants, fruits, and even occasionally people. They feed on many different types of tree fruits, vegetables, field crops, flowers, and native vegetation regardless if they are in their native or invaded location. The base of their wings are thickened and the apical portion of their wings are membranous. Mating occurs mostly in early spring and there can be anywhere from one to five generations of eggs laid in a single year. They are present in Asia, Europe, North America, and Oceania. The brown stink bug has become a significant nuisance in the mid-Atlantic and the Pacific Northwest regions of the United States due to its high mobility and tendency to overwinter in man-made structures in large groups. The brown stink bug is able to be so invasive because they are found in large populations. The two biggest contributing factors to this are the frequency with which they reproduce and their defense mechanisms. When disturbed, stink bugs use the scent glands located on both sides of the thorax to expel a noxious gas that gives off an unpleasant odor. The odor is meant to discourage larger predators such as birds and lizards from eating them. The odor is also meant to trick predators into thinking that bugs, that the stink bugs are poisonous. Although Will makes some good points as to why the brown stink bug could have slightly better defense mechanisms than the giant leaf insect in sense of the foul odor they produce, let's say in the scenario that both the giant leaf insect and the brown stink bug are resting on the same leaf. The leaf insect will not be seen due to its camouflage abilities, whereas the brown stink bug will be seen by predators immediately. While camouflage is not the stink bug's forte, they are still able to blend in with their environment to a certain degree. They won't be able to blend in with green plants, but they do blend in well with tree bark, and stink bugs spend a lot of time in or near trees, whether it be for hunting or sheltering purposes and on the off chance they are located by a predator while near a tree, they have better secondary defenses than a leaf insect does. 
Brown stink bugs have three main secondary defenses. Their thick exoskeleton and wings, their speed, and their stylets. Unlike a leaf insect, who has a thin and fragile exoskeleton, the stink bug can use a thick exoskeleton and wings as armor against an attacking predator. Secondly, the stink bug is faster than the leaf insect on foot and therefore cannot run certain predators if it is located. And finally, as a last line of defense, the stink bug can use a stylus to fend off predators. And my rebuttal for you against the giant leaf insect is that although they do have great hiding skills, how do they defend themselves once they're located? It is almost impossible to locate a stick insect because they look identical to a leaf. Stick insects protect themselves by remaining motionless for hours. Sometimes they will even trick predators by swaying back and forth like a small branch blowing in the wind. They hold their legs tightly along their body so they look like a stick or a twig. The surrounding vegetation makes them almost invisible to predators. Although the brown stink bug's odor is very effective deterrent, in order for the defense mechanism to work, some of the bugs will inevitably have to die or be injured. Some of the stink bugs will inevitably have to die or be injured by a predator for that predator to learn to stay away from stink bugs, but is more effective in the long run. After a predator encounters a stink bug and the stink bug inflicts physical harm or just pain on the predator, it will be significantly less likely to attack a stink bug again and it will move on to other prey. Predators can also learn that stink bugs are harmful for observing other animals, so only a few stink bugs will have to be quote-unquote sacrificed for this defense mechanism to work. The odor of a stink bug is a better defense mechanism than the camouflage of a leaf insect because it uses the predator's fear of being harmed to effectively eliminate the predator's drive to pursue stink bugs as prey. My second rebuttal would be that because the leaf insect's camouflage works so well, they tend to be vulnerable to getting eaten by herbivores as well. Couldn't their defense mechanism also have drawbacks given that it increases the amount of potential predators because herbivores are also included? So that is a good point. It is true that the giant leaf insect can be vulnerable to herbivores looking for a leafy snack. However, since the giant leaf insect is an inhabitant of tropical forests, there is no shortage of leaves to hide amongst. In a way, leaf insects play an odds game with their predators. No amount of hungry mice in the world could chomp its way through all the leaves in the Malaysia tropical forest. The giant leaf insects rest in strategic places during wakeful hours. When it's close to nightfall, the giant leaf insect finds a spot that is difficult to reach for predators. So with thousands of other leaves easy to grab for predators, the giant leaf insect sleeps calmly and peacefully in plain sight. The core arguments in this project are based on the physical defense systems of each species. At the end of the day, even with all the hypothetical scenarios, it is clear that the giant leaf insect has the better defense mechanisms. Overall, it performs better in a real world scenario due to their ability to mimic leaves. By studying these trends and differences, we can better understand how population goes through these drastic changes over time and what effects there are on set changes. In my opinion, after all these arguments being stated, I still think that the brown stink bug has better defense mechanisms than the giant leaf insect. And this is evident because the brown stink bug has several strong defense mechanisms along with a last ditch offensive mechanism. The brown stink bug can use its thick exoskeleton and wings, its speed, or its stylus to get a sticky situation. The giant leaf insect has one effective defense mechanism, but other than that, it is very vulnerable to predators because of its fragile nature. Also, its one defense mechanism has a major downside in that it increases the amount of predators it has because a herbivore can mistake it as a leaf and eat it. The brown stink bug is just flat out harder to kill and this can be seen with how prevalent and invasive they are in almost all parts of the world. They are not easily killed by predators in the wild or by humans.